I don't know. I, I just I just see Vader and, and like I think of like Game Watch Vader. Okay. Okay. So, um, Meister. Meister. Yes. Yeah, yeah, Meister. Three. All right, but this isn't Meister. Yep. This is Vader, and I love his name, Order 66. Calling oh, yeah. it up. So, uh, with this matchup, there's been a lot of thoughts of Game and Watch just being able to upbeat at a disadvantage. Basically, every single I time. I mean, it's his get out of jail free card. You know, anything on shield, anything on shield is not safe. You think you? It's. I feel like it's the, how fast it comes out, and like. And you can lead into stuff like that. Yeah. With the two tits as well. I, mean, I think. Let's be fair. I think they did this as to repay Game & Watch for not having a functioning shield in Melee. Oh my god, yeah. Right? Dude, imagine if he had that upbeat in Melee. That'd be crazy. Like, could you imagine like the fact that you couldn't even air dodge in that game without like dying, basically? So you go off stage and him with an upbeat. Yeah. That'd be all over. So it's looking really good for Vader right now. He's just basically walling out with Ganon. And also, I haven't seen it just yet. Game & Watch's jab is ridiculously good, but a great read, no, unable to follow it up. But I like the slow play, the slow play from me today, though. Right. I mean, you kind of definitely do have to play at your own pace. You can't go super aggressive against Game & Watch, because if you do anything on his shield, that's not... And an air dodge right into that back air, that's right. going to spell disaster. That's going to spell death, I should say. Oh my god, yeah. I feel like Game & Watch is like, bread and butter is his getting out of disadvantage state and his edge guarding state. But if he's up, he's out of shield, if he doesn't do it at the right time, maybe Eric can actually use a perfect piece out fair in order to potentially contest it. But this is getting after all, he is slow. Alright. And yet again, there's the bacon at the ledge. What do you do? You can't <laughs> roll, you can't jump, you just eat Jeez. all this percent. Like, what do you do? Oh my what do God. you do? You're Ganondorf, you're too slow. 24 hour breakfast and finally gets him. Slams him back onto the platform. Honestly, I wouldn't have blamed Beepinator just to time him out. Just throw out the bacon and sausage and be like, I'm making. Oh my God! What a hard read coming in. Wait, he j he just died. Yeah. He just died. How did how did this happen? Where did we go? Oh, he used the down here as well. Beepinator is really feeling himself right now. That's the thing. With Game Watch being this low, finally clips now. He's still alive. He's not alive anymore. Oh my god. But my god, what a hard read that came in. And that's exactly what Vader needs in this matchup. Right. Honestly, like, I, I thought, like, okay, Vader's got this in the bag. And then all of a sudden, Meepinator just turned it around like that. Like, what happened with the game? It just it just shifted momentum so quickly. Yeah. But like, I like what Vader's doing. He's kind of like bringing it back in the game. Like, be like, okay, you, you got that. You got that sock on me. I, I, I'll take that L, but I'm not going to take the L of this game, so you better... With the fair, yeah. it does catch him out, though, so Vader, in a really uncomfortable position right now, uses the dash attack. Okay, his dash attack is deceptively good. Yeah. Like, how it comes out, it seems so awkward, but right now, all Meepinator is fishing for is a fair. As you can see, it does it over and over again, but Vader is quick to contest it, though. Yet again, oh, Ganondorf is kind of just like trying to find his one kill button, which is like half his moveset at this oh, point. Yeah, he's looking for something right now, using right. his firmly space tilts. He knows that he can't go for a hard play on this match tax. Just one mistake, and he's back onto the ledge, but this time he doesn't hold it down. Honestly, I kind of wish he just continued uh, holding down the ledge like that because, oh, he tried going for the, the reversal up air, but not going to be able to find it. He bacons the wrong direction, and yet again, this is so bad for both players. Gonna be fine, but catches out with the dash attack. Does he have a jump available? He does try to use it there, but no tech. Oh my God, Vader just barely takes it. Mr. Oh my tech. God, Bo both players just escaping death. death. Yeah. yeah, and it, honestly, I was I was right. Somebody was somebody was gonna die. Uh -huh. Somebody was gonna die right there, and I couldn't tell you who at the it's moment. Either, it's either this paperweight or this okay, or the king yeah. of darkness. Yeah. But my goodness, who, who would win? The king of Darkness, Who's the Triforce of Power, Destroyer of Hyrule, or, or one 2D, 2D boy. 2D boy, who didn't even have a functioning shield in nah, melee. Nah, not even, not even, it's not even his 2D, it's the parachute, or one parachuting boy. I mean, you know what feels bad? That Game & Watch shield, like, everyone was, not many people kind of complained about it, but then an Olimar shield was just a joke. Oh my god. You remember uh, the set between uh, Unsilver Ninja and Myron? Stop. When oh. Myron had his shield up and Mr. Shulk would smash him up, hit him with that fair right above it, and Shield poked it right through? Yep. That's a feel bad. As much as you hate Olimar, that's not healthy for a game. I feel like people are more ragging on Myron than like actually hating Olimar. Because like, people love Chuto. 
Myron. People, they don't like Myron. <laughs> they don't like Myron, yeah. And people are starting to like the buzz because he started yeah. pulling that Rosa and doing really well. Yeah. But speaking of that, you put you put that RNG button away. Yeah. You know, the buzz is like kind of like the middle between the the all of our hate. Yeah. You know, like he's like, okay, he's kind of cool, but like he's kind of lame, kind of lame. But like, you know, what, you respect him because like the buzz is like kind of cool in that like awkward nerdy sense. Yeah, yeah. You know, he likes chocolate. Robin. Okay, the buzz. What the hell, man? I'll, I'll show you a picture later. It's it's horrible. So this match. Next, next thing you're gonna tell me, he uh, pours in the milk and then the cereal like oh, Mr. He's R. But right now, Vader seems to be controlling this match. And right now, great tech this time coming in from me, Vader. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice. I'm not going to do it this time. And here comes the bacon. He's finally able to jump away. And he's trying to use that down flush to escape this disadvantage state, but perfectly done by Vader. Honestly, I wonder if this counter pick is working against Meepinator because he can just sit on that platform and be like, okay, I don't even have to wait for anything. I just go drop down through the platform and there. That's all he needs to do, and he's able to use these pairs, and here comes the bacon. Finally able to get away. He put that orange hammer away, Vader. I no, 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 he's just burning the RNG for when he really needs it. And a great try to get a reading put there, but actually was able to escape dead. That shield looked awfully small, so Vader is going to be a okay for now. That platform's actually coming into use for him. And again, you know, this counter pick is just not working out in Meepinator's favor. Manages to roll past the bacon. Get out of that frame trap situation, but here we go. Forward smash, and he's going to drop shield. Yep, he thought that move was going to be a forward tilt, and so he wanted to try to parry it, I guess. But you know what? That forward smash comes out a little bit too slow. Mm -hmm. So right now, Meepinator is trying to fire his way in. That wizard's foot does not go through the move as strong as you might think it is. But that Nair, oh my god. Gaming Watch Nair demands so much respect, and especially against the heavy character like Ganon. All right. Here we go, Nair, and yet again, get, manages to find the defensive retreat option. Gets hit with the bear. He's off stage, but Noah gets hit by the bacon and just gets sent back onto the ledge. Yeah, it's looking so good right now. This disadvantage, getting disadvantage is horrible, but he only needs a few good reads in order to get striking back immediately at 56%. That's a ready kill percent for a light character like Game & Watch. And right now, Meepinator is playing this really slow game, which I definitely think is the best decision. Right. I mean, what are you going to do? Like, eat, like, 6% off of a bacon? Like, one or two bacons? Like, that's not going to kill you. But that back air will kill you. Oh, yeah, like, that's well. what you have to worry about. Yeah, that's something that he definitely needs to worry about. And right now, it's not looking too good for Meepinator right now. The first game was a little closer, but it seems like that Vader is starting to get a hard read on him and really abusing how Ganon is a heavy character and is vulnerable to these strings. Right. And yet again, just like that, 70% is on the board. You know, Meepinator is leading, and it is not stopping anytime soon. And it's looking so good right now. He's able to go moving forward. He tries to whiz up with all of them. <laughs> he tried, he tried, like, like, please, one of these, one of these hit, and then it's just like, no, I'm going to get through all of this food. Yeah, and all of it, finally. He, get, he, get, he, he finally ate through it, but that was his foot. He's easily punishable. He air dodges. He's worried about that up air from that game and watch. He's unable to escape the platform. This counter pick is actually countering himself. Yeah. Now you know in the future, don't take game and watch to Kalos, because you are going to suffer. Oh, that was a good tech. Kind of like gets back to neutral a little bit quicker. And here's the bear. Here's the other bear. And he reads the double jump, but not going to be able to find it because he tried going. Bear. Yep. That's not going to be enough just yet. So Meepinator, he's got a lot of rage, but 139% hits him with the down tilt. But what can he do with this rage? And he's also such a high percent. The dash attack forces him off state. And here comes the food. It actually saved him there. I don't think he was able to snap the ledge. I mean, it, it would have snapped a ledge, but I feel like it would have been better to go uh -oh. for the back air. But, I mean, who needs that when you've got the grounding down smash? Dude, that move is so good. It hits below ledge. It covers roll and normal get up. Like, it does your taxes for you. It's it's like your tax guy. Yeah. You, like, you just, like, send them all the work, and you'd be like, okay, let me plug in the number. Here you go. This is 